Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and today we have update number four for Deck of Panning. I absolutely love this project and we have some really exciting rollouts. That means that we get to draw in a lot of cards, which is scary but also very exciting. So this project was created and continues to be hosted by Emily and Max. I always have her linked down in my description box with her intro video and also the game board in which we pull our prompts from. So if you are just tuning into this project, I will link my playlist down below so that you guys can actually watch all the way through last year and up to this point. But basically we play with a deck of cards and you pull cards, they correlate to prompts on a game board and that is how you draw products into this project. I do have these beautiful Star Wars cards with this beautiful gold foil and all of our characters and um, number cards in the deck so we do leave one joker in there the joker correlates with the are you joking prompt which is something that you really don't want to pan or something that is difficult the joker that is in my deck is bb8 and actually i'm wearing my yoda star wars ring today i thought it was very appropriate but bb8 is my joker so he is the one that i want to not get so let me go ahead and get my products ready to review. Let me look at my spreadsheet and we will get into update number four for Deck of Panning. So in this update, we have four rollouts and two items that are staying in the project. So that means that we are pulling four new items in. So let me go ahead and go with the one that rolled out the earliest on in the month, and that was my Pat McGrath and Star Wars Sith seduction palette. I did have this for a goal for no pan left behind. This is a fully shimmer five pan. It is absolutely gorgeous. These shades are creamy and soft and impactful and sparkly and just beautiful but i did only have two or three shades left on this palette to use and i was able to use all of them so not only is that a prompt rolled out for this project but also i get to check this palette off my list for my project no pan left behind for the year which is super exciting so we did draw this in for a jack of clubs which was a powder product so even though these are very creamy shadows they still are powders and that card the jack of clubs is actually kylo ren in my deck so i decided to keep the family together and draw in my darth vader palette so this one is rolling out next item to roll out was actually my other palette so this is the viziart petite pro apricot palette and i drew this in for a seven of spades which was peach fuzz which is the pantone color of the year peaches apricots in the same family so that is what i went with this is our color story right here beautiful peachy apricot shades as the palette would suggest and i did do a no pan left behind on this so i was able to use every shade in this palette i love viziart's formula the mattes are creamy and buildable and the the shimmer shades they have a couple different formulas but they're impactful without being too heavy so i really enjoyed busting out my viziart shades every time that i use one of my viziart palettes it makes me want to go on their website and buy more so this one is another goal met for this project and also another palette that is checked off on my no pan left behind. Let's go into this one and then I'll do the other exciting one. So this is the Cover Effects Shimmer Veil, Shimmer Veil. The rest of it is in French maybe, but this is a liquid shadow. I did draw this in for the Nine of Hearts, which is Oh the Shame. Oh the Shame, Emily has an Oh the Shame drawer, which is basically products that she has not used in a very long time. And this is one of them. I've had this 
for a very long time. When did I pick this? I picked this up in 2020 and have hardly used it and it's pretty much dried up. So my goal was to only use this five times. I used it three times and then I've decided to go ahead and declutter it from my collection. It just doesn't lay down right. It ends up patchy. There's alcohol in this which makes the like liquid evaporate and then the pigment sticks down. The alcohol burns my eyelids and so it's just not worth me using this anymore. So even though I was able to use it three times, this is something that I'm going to declutter and this is a lesson learned for me that liquid shadows are not something that I'm interested in so I can go ahead and not purchase any more liquid shadows in the future but I'm glad that I was able to finally like force myself to use this and finally make a decision on this because this has been on my mental chopping block for many many years so that is our shimmer veil and then the next item that we are rolling out. I rolled this one in for the Four of Hearts, which was Cities, and I drew in my Benefit Dallas blush, and she is gone. Beautiful, empty pan. I cannot believe it. This blush I purchased in 2017 on the recommendation of Jessica Braun, as I'm sure many of us purchased this blush on her recommendation, but this was the original formula of Dallas. I loved this shade, I loved using this, and so when I first rolled this in to this project, what did I have the goal as? I have my little book here that I keep all my tallies, but I wanted to use it 25 times, so all I had to do is I used it 28 times to finish it up. So three more uses past my goal, and we have a beautiful shiny pan and an empty blush for the year. This is so exciting and this will allow me to start working more consciously on the other blush that I have in my project pan. Shameless plug, I'll link it up above and down below. But we have a blush empty, so very excited about that. So that was our four rollouts and so that leaves us with two products that are staying in and I do have an exciting update about one of them as well and so I had rolled in the Becca Moonstone highlighter uh, this was a prompt that was three of diamonds which was a metallic product and highlighters are metallic I did set a goal of I have either 20 or 25 written down I'll have to look let me actually look at my little cards that I do. So 20 uses is what I have on my little graphics. So we are looking at 20 uses. I have 14 uses on it right now, but the exciting part of it is that I hit pan. Let's see if it'll focus on up oh, there. Now we can see it. Look at that. I already had a little bit of a dip in this product from using it, I think on a usage goal last year, if I'm not mistaken, but we have a beautiful little pan on this palette. So 20 uses and I'm at 14, so we only have six more uses on that. I don't see that as an issue of me using this six more times in the upcoming months, so this will be a rollout for next month, but I'm just excited about hitting pan on this little bugger. So very, very excited about my Becca blush, not my Becca blush, my Becca highlighter getting some use on it. And then our last item, I rolled this in last time. So I rolled this in for a Jack of Diamonds, which was Lando. And that was for a cream or a liquid product. So I rolled in one of my Franken blushes. I did end up labeling them because I was tired of kind of like looking at the bottom of them and seeing what shade they were. So this is my more brownie one, and then I have a pink red one, but I set a use of 30 uses on this, and I have been using this. I've been using my Marc Jacobs lipstick as a cream blush, trying to get some more use on it before I need to make a decision on it next month. So I have been not using that one as 
diligently, but I do have 10 uses on it already. So we are a third of the way there. If I really buckle down, I think this will be in for a few more months just because I don't want to neglect my other cream blushes. And really, sometimes my looks do not call for a brown cream blush. But I do love this product so, so much. I have not weighed anything yet, but just, I mean... I've used it and there's a little bit of a dent, but definitely there is a lot of product in there and so I will not hit pan on this in a very long time. But excited to have this rolled in, excited to kind of have this on the forefront of my mind for a product that I need to be reaching for. So the Becca highlighter and my Franken cream blush in the brown color, these are going to be staying in and we are going to be rolling in four new products. So I have the game board pulled up. I have not looked at it yet, but the um, aces and the face cards always do stay the same. Those are consistent throughout the entire project, but the number cards do get shuffled around. Emily shuffles those around every single month. And so what do we have over there? Seasonal change suit, impulse purchase, um, out of your hands. That's a different one. We'll have to see what that is for. Represents another project. Um, most recent purchase. Broken. I mean, I usually fix or franken all of my products that end up breaking, which I did post a video of depotting all of my Natasha Denona minis because one of my minis, like the lid broke off of it, so I decided just to depot it. Go watch that video if you're curious, but that was my word of warning to uh, not go into depotting those lightly. And thank you for all of you who tagged me and DM'd me about the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. Thank you so much for letting me know. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed in it, but I did find another creator and I'll link her video down below. So editing Erin, remember, I forget her name right off the top of my head because I just found her, but she did a really comprehensive review of the repeat shades and what the old palette, the old gold looks like versus the golden palette that's coming out. And she was talking about how there is those teals in the um, Metropolis palette and also the Zendo palette and then there might be like that lime chrome shade that might be something that is in the Yucca palette. So I did actually use part of the Metropolis palette with the greens and teal um, like cream to powder shades. I used those in my look today so kind of sparked my love for Metropolis and kind of put that back in my forefront that I probably have those teals somewhere else in my collection as well. So that's my two cents about the golden palette. I'll, oh, I'll end up picking it up. I mean, I've been lusting over her coming out with a gold palette for so long that, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to make my collection incomplete. It's just the, what is it? The Zion palette. I'll, I'll never purchase that one. There's no purpose for me to have that, but we are shuffled, so I always do cut the deck on camera. So we pull the first four off the top. So we have the heart or the Queen of Hearts, which is that Leia? I believe. Yep, that's Leia, and she's holding the gold dice. She's holding uh, Han's dice in her hand. So the Queen of Hearts, which is pick your space. But I think with those, you have to stay within the suit of the, um, like, so I have to stay within the heart suit, but I'll, I'll clarify that. But number two off the top is going to be the four of hearts, which is impulse. So in impulse purchase, I don't really have a whole lot of impulse purchases anymore, but I will definitely have to see, except for the jelly, the jelly uh, primers. But I don't know if that's an impulse purchase, if it's a favorite, but Card number three, we have the Ten of Clubs, which is Wish You Returned. I really don't have a whole lot of those either, but we will find something. And I just did a big editing cut because I just sneezed like three times. But last card is going to be the Ace of Hearts, which is pick two. And this has the Millennium Falcon on it. So of course, you know, we're, we're cursed. So we have to pick two more cards. All right, next one up the top is the Nine of Diamonds, 
which is collecting cobwebs. And then our last card is Lando again. So the Jack of Diamonds, which is a cream or liquid product. Okay, so the Ace did us dirty. So the Millennium Falcon did us dirty. And we will, let me go ahead and try to pick some items for these prompts. These prompts are a little bit harder, but I will find something and I'll be right back with one, two, three, four, five new products. Okie dokie. So I feel good about my picks. So the first one that we drew was Miss Leia. And so this is the Queen of Hearts, which is a pick your space. So I have to stay within the heart suit, but I can pick whatever I want out of that. And so what I ended up picking was the five of hearts, which is newest. So I recently placed an order on Ulta and this is one of my newest lip products. I've wanted to try this for a very long time, but this is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss and I did pick it up in... Does it have, oh, it's on the bottom and it's really small. So Sun Sunrise Blush, number 10. So it's this beautiful, like, I've never ever been a red lip product person, but like these like rusty reds, these rosy, like deep rosy reds that are sheer, loving them. So I did pick up this gloss. I just wanna get my thoughts on this gloss. I have not used it yet. It does smell really, really nice. Let me take a sniff. Yeah, it smells like candy, so it smells really nice. It smells like sweet tarts or like the, the powdery sugar candies. So that's what this smells like to me. But I'm gonna make a goal of using it 10 times just so I can get my thoughts on it. But this is one of the newest products that came into my collection. The next one that we picked was the Four of Hearts, which was an impulse purchase. And I told you guys, like I've not really had a whole lot of issues with impulse purchasing over the past couple years. So I had to get go back in my inventory and see what was the last or what was something that I kind of felt was an impulse purchase. And I am calling out this sucker. So this is the Urban Decay Naked Wild West palette. And I wouldn't necessarily, maybe I'll call it an impulse. Maybe I'm cheating a little bit, but when this first released, I kind of had the like, I need to collect them all mentality about the naked palettes. And like the color story is intriguing, like this was something that wasn't really being done back when this released. And so I I liked it, but of course I was not gonna purchase it full price. So I kept telling myself, oh, if it goes on sale, if it goes on sale. And like, I kind of fell out of love with it. I kind of didn't really care about it anymore. Then it went on sale for 50% off and I bought it in a heartbeat. Even though like it wasn't even on my loves list anymore, like I hadn't been thinking about it. I It wasn't like gnawing at my brain anymore. As soon as I saw it go 50% off, I was like, okay, cool, I'll pick it up. And I bought it uh, in, in, in a heartbeat. So this is something that I would consider an impulse purchase because it wasn't something that I needed. And this has kind of been on my mental chopping block as well, um, along with the Urban Decay Naked Ultraviolet. But I'm gonna do a no pan left behind on this palette. It has some really pretty warm tones and those teals that you know that are missing quote unquote from the gold palette so this will kind of maybe satisfy that teal urge for me but i do really love doing warm looks with that pop of teal with this palette so this is going to be my impulse prompt pick and i'm going to do no pan left behind let's see our next one and it's gonna be just a constant thing of allergies. Like I, allergy season is all the time in Florida. I don't know if it gets cold enough for it to not be allergy season, even though we are having some really crazy storms. So if you guys are in like Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, like into the Florida panhandle, I hope everybody is safe because the storms over the past week have been insane with the tornadoes and just the wind. We had um, a couple gas stations in our area just kind of be like blown apart by winds. So it's, 
it's not fun, but we do have a place in our house that we can go to if there's tornadoes. So we're lucky to have that. But you guys didn't come here for the weather update. 10 of clubs. So this one was wish you returned. And this might be polarizing, but I picked the Kaoli Yum Pistachio perfume. I'm only down to here and I've had this when did I purchase this? And this is something that like it sat in my cart. I waited for a sale. Like this was not an impulse purchase. I went and I smelled it in store. So this wasn't a blind buy either. But I purchased this actually during my birthday month. So in September of last year, I purchased this. And this is how much I've had. And this is because I rolled this into my Project 10 uses and forced myself to use it. So I love pistachios. I love a milky, creamy note, but there is something about this that leans too powdery, and that's my issue with this one. So I'm not a big person to return products that I'm buying because I know they just end up in a dumpster. Like if it's breaking me out, if it is completely like wrecking my skin, if it is something that causes a huge allergic reaction, then yeah, I'm not going to use it. But if it's something that I'm just like, oh, it's not my favorite, but you know, oh, if I mix it with this or mix it with that, I can make it work. I'll make it work because I don't want this to end up in a landfill. But, and also I spent my money on it. So this is going to be, I'm going to do another 10 use goal on this because I was able to get a good little dent on it on having a 10 use goal. So I'm going to roll it in again, or should I roll it in until I get it to the top of the line? So if you guys see we're up here, do I want to get it to the top of the line? You guys vote down below. Let me know in the comments. Should I do a 10 use goal or should I use it until I get to the top of the line on the logo? You guys let me know what my goal should be and I will set my goal as that. But I wish I returned this even though I don't return things. <laughs> so, and then we got the wonderful Ace of Hearts, which is our Millennium Falcon. All of the Aces have starships or Starcrafts from Star Wars on them. And so I know there's one with a TIE Fighter, there's one with an X-Wing, and I forget what ship is on the other one. I asked my husband and he was able to tell me what ship it is, but Let's see, we ended up getting, I don't know if a lot of people are in the Google Doc right now, but it is just like skipping around and I think I know what these other two are, so I'm not going to worry about refreshing my computer again. So this is the Nine of Diamonds, so this was collecting cobwebs, and what I did is I looked through my blush kind of spreadsheet where I check off when I'm using my blushes, and we are already halfway through... May and I have not used and you guys can see my whole setup in the mirror but I've not used the hourglass ghost ambient lighting I don't know blush palette but this is what this one looks like it is just a quad of products this was from 2019 this was their holiday release I loved the little quad of um, blushes but what do we have? Let me see if I can read this for you guys. But we have number one, which it says is this one. But that's, no, it's the other way. So this one is Surreal Effect. This one is Brilliant Nude. This one is Lucid Glow. And this one is Infinite Flush. So these are what we're working with. And I really do love this palette. And actually sometimes I love, like I'll mix these two catty corner and I'll mix these two catty corner. And when I was talking about having a pinky blush to where I didn't need that light bubble gum pink that was really popular a couple years ago, it's because of this one right here. I already had it in my collection. It is this beautiful, bright, cool toned pink. So I did not need the Dior blush because I already had that color in my collection which I'm sure we all had that color in our collection but I actually want to set a decent goal on this one so let's do 20 uses and if I reach into this and use two pans that's still one application so I need to reach into this palette as a whole 20 times because I want to see some love on this thing because it was expensive and also the formula and the shades in this one are beautiful. 
And then our last card that we pulled was the Jack of Diamonds, which is Lando. We had this one last time, but this is for a cream or liquid product. And if you watch my 24 in 2024, you guys know that I'm trying to pan two foundations this year. And one of them is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. I have it in shade 21. And as you guys can see, I have used quite a bit of this. It's actually starting to sputter a little bit, but I feel like we still have a couple months worth of use on this one. But I mix this in with my Juvia's Place foundation and I apply this every single day. So I don't feel like this is going to take too long, but these are actually like really deceiving because there's a lot of product in here. So we probably have about two months left of use on this, but I've not tracked this publicly. <laughs> I've been kind of just using this in the background and I want to track it with you guys. Guys. So this is going to be a finished goal. This is something I use every day, so it shouldn't be hard, but this is my cream product that I am rolling in as my second foundation that I want to use up this year. So just to remind myself and editing Erin when I go to do all my graphics, 10 uses on the CoverGirl Yummy Gloss. We're doing a no pan left behind on the Urban Decay Naked Wild West. Um, you guys are voting on 10 uses or to make it to the top of the logo on the perfume, 20 uses on my Hourglass palette, and then a finish goal on my Misha BB cream. Then we also have the rest of my 30 uses on my cream blush, and then so we have 20 more uses on my cream blush, and then six more uses on my Becca highlight. So very excited about these roll-ins and to kind of get some use out of things that I'm not necessarily getting use out of. Well, I mean, I'm getting use out of this every day, but I want to track this with you guys. So I'm excited about it. But let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know what cards you picked, what rollouts were you able to do, any new empties. Let me know down below. I love celebrating your successes and your goals met down below with you as well. So of course, do all the things. Hit a thumbs up on this video if you are enjoying my content. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you know whenever I upload. We're doing probably Project panning, conscious consumerism, um, eyeshadows, puppy dogs, um, rambling about God knows what <laughs> in life. So if that seems interesting to you, stick around. I appreciate each and every one of you. I am about to hit 1,700 subscribers, and I kind of like made it a goal for myself to hit 2,000 before my birthday in September. And I kind of feel like you guys are making it happen quicker. So if we reach the goal of 2000 before my birthday in September, that would be amazing. So if you are just lurking and clicking on my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help me reach that goal. That would be a beautiful early birthday present for myself. You guys are amazing for what you have done to grow the community and be so kind and supportive in my comment section. This isn't just about me rambling and showing graphics and using products. You guys have made this an amazing community in the comment section where you guys talk to each other and encourage each other and root each other on. I am just amazed at the kind people that enjoy this type of content and have flooded here to encourage each other. And I appreciate each and every one of you. But I am starving and I'm going to go meet my husband in town for some Chick-fil-A because who doesn't want Chick-fil-A on a rainy day? Um, might even treat myself to a milkshake, who knows? But I'm going to go ahead and do that. But I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day and I will catch you in my next one.